I should have picked Deadpool. I should have picked Deadpool. I should have picked Deadpool. Zoolander 2. My original plan tonight was to go see the new Deadpool movie, a movie I've been looking forward to a long time. I've heard everything was good about this movie, so I was really looking forward to it. Well, tonight I have a whole family home, and my mom and dad, my mom and sister actually, were like, Deadpool looks stupid, let's go see a movie that we all love. We all love the original Zoolander. We love it. We quote it all the time. The first Zoolander is like a really cult classic in my family house, whatever, so we really like Zoolander. So we're like, alright, let's all go see Zoolander 2. And we all walked out the same opinion. It was okay. I have to admit, I'm disappointed. Like, I'm okay. Like, I'm not like devastated. I'm not like, oh my god, it's the worst movie ever. No, it's it's a stupid movie, just like the first one. Let me get this out of the way. The, the first movie, it's not a smart comedy. It's a stupid movie, but it's so good with it. Like, it's charm, how good, stupid it was. So that's what makes the first one so good. This one goes straight for stupidity. No charm to it. It's just stupid. So this movie is basically about Zoolander and Olmos and coming back together. They've been kind of retired, whatever, all this new generation, whatever, this new kind of people, whatever, new kind of models. And so he's come, Zoolander and Olmos and they're coming back together to team up, whatever, because they got to save the world or save the models, whatever, because all these famous people are dying, like Justin Bieber in the trailer you've seen, he's like the first 10 minutes. He gets killed, whatever, and all the other celebrities are getting killed, and all doing the Zoolander phase, like with the blue steel kind of phase, which is totally stupid. And so Zoolander and, and almost a team up whatever and save the day and everything. Have to get help from Will Ferrell and everything to stop um, Kristen Wiig, who is awesome in this movie. Okay, let's get with all the positives first. First things first, this movie has some really stupid funny parts. Like, there are some parts where I did laugh. It was so stupid and ridiculous that I did have to laugh. Like, Ben Stiller, great as Zoolander. He is perfect as Zoolander. I loved him as Zoolander. Oh, Wilson, to me, he wasn't as good as he was in the first one. Like, I really like them competing against each other in the first one, whatever. And in the very end of the first one, they do become friends. In this movie, they are friends throughout the whole movie, whatever. And that, it felt a little bit different from the first one, whatever. But a lot of jokes are rehashed from the first one. They're just trying to update them and do kind of differently, whatever. Which kind of bothered me, because it feels like, kind of like Dumb and Dumber 2. They kind of rehash jokes, whatever. And that's what I was hoping this wasn't, it wasn't going to be like another Dumb and Dumber 2. It's just a kind of a rip off in the first one. No, this one has its stupidity or whatever, but it's it has funny moments throughout the movie. It's just not like the first one where it's hilarious. Like we don't get like a famous gasoline fight scene or whatever. There's nothing like mem memori memorial memorable from like this kind of movie. It's just kinda like I laughed, not as good as the first one, but I can definitely watch it on TV. Will Ferrell was really funny in the movie. Um Sama Hayek, she was just there to show off her boobs pretty much the whole movie. And every, all the celebrity cameos, like Benedict Cumberbatch was super funny, whatever. All the cameos I thought were pretty cool and pretty funny. Again, Kristen Wiig, she steals every scene she's in. She's like she's like a model. She's like all this exotic kind of stuff, whatever. She's like plastic surgery. She like looks like this and like this. And she looks weird and she pulls it off. Kristen Wiig stole the show in my opinion. She was awesome. But Zoolander 2, I have to say, it was an okay movie. It had some really stupid parts. It didn't have that charm like the first one. It got really ridiculous. It was. It had some really flat out jokes that just didn't laugh at all. But there are some scenes where I did laugh. And it was just okay. A little disappointing. But overall, I'll give the movie... Uh, I'll give it a C. I did enjoy watching Zoolander back on the screen. This is my first time ever seeing Zoolander on the big screen. So, yeah, there's that. But overall, Ben Stiller... Maybe next time, dude, but maybe if they do a Zoolander 3, it could be really good, but I don't see this movie doing really good worldwide, but maybe. Anyways, it was okay. I hope you guys enjoy this review, and I promise tomorrow, when I do see the Deadpool movie that I hope is really good, I'll get that review tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoy this review, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys!